audio link irons and supply dry. The link that that that's what the spinner's thing was for. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Alright. I don't know. It's just something easy. You can match the video to the sound real quick. Mm. I like it. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so you ready for the next experiment, Justin? Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Toothpaste for thermal paste. I think it'll work. You think so? Yeah. I wonder how well it'll work. I don't know. I didn't think it worked too well, but... I think it'll work better than you think so. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm just need to see. Yeah. Let's find out. Well, I scavenged <laughs> the house and I found two, thir two toothpastes to use. We got Paw Patrol and Extreme Clean. <laughs> Which should we try? Uh, let's go with the extreme clean. Extreme clean it is. Yeah. Alright, so we kind of burned up that one with the <laughs> thermal grizzly conducto nut experiment. I don't know if we burned a motherboard or the processing experiment. We can't find that way, but don't worry, I got another one to blow up. We have a, another Pentium. 3.8 gigahertz dual core processor to uh, get burned up. So uh, I think our plan is is we'll get it going, and once we get going, we'll get some baseline numbers. We'll put it under full load for I think like 15 minutes uh, with some regular thermal paste, and then uh, we'll get those numbers, power it down, switch it out to uh, some extreme clean toothpaste and put another full load on it and see if there's any differences in temperature. All right, let's get her going. Some Arctic MX4. <laughs> <laughs> It's got to turn off. Hmm. All right, we got it up and going. We'll let it run for 15 minutes under full load and uh, keep an eye on the temperatures and see what they come in as. And then we'll switch it over and go for the uh, extreme clean toothpaste. I wonder if it'll clean up the processor. <laughs> Alright, we're in it like, I don't know, 19, 20 minutes, something like that. Plenty of time. Running full load on it. Let's see, our max CPU temperature has been 42, so it's not too bad at all. Let's see what happens when uh, we get some extreme clean. There we go, whitening action. Sugar acid protection, extreme clean. 
tell you what, it smells pretty good. So, That's a good question. Yeah, what happens when it gets too hot? Yeah. Maybe it liquefies or something. Huh. some goodness here. Oh, that just looks great. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> I might have just a little too much on there. I might ooze down into the cracks. Ooh, this stuff could be conductive. Maybe I should use a little bit less. That's a little better. Say off Vitrazine to your motherboard. It is, and it never reached, it's past its <laughs> midpoint. Wait a minute, no, it's not locked up. Sure it was acting like it. Dude, I'm shocked. 42 degrees. There you go. Get a nice close look at this nasty stuff. Did it foam? Nope. Stayed, got a little hard on some of the edges here. But it uh, stayed in relatively good shape. Even though you know it wasn't going for long, smells really good. <laughs> so, well, 
apparently you can use toothpaste. I guess if you're in a pinch. <laughs> It was a success. <laughs> Order the real stuff anyway. <laughs> Anything you want to add? Uh, I told you so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I figured it would do about the same. Yeah. <laughs> you were more right than I was. I wasn't expecting that good. <laughs>